Hello. Happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday. Oh, wow. I washed my hair today. That was kind of a win. Um, I decided that I would jump on here and do a live. I just did a live in my mental wellness group and I thought, you know what, you people probably need some information too because mental wellness is um, so super close to pretty much everybody's heart. We all want to feel good physically. We all want to feel good mentally as well, right? Um, so if you don't know, hi, my name is Loz Crop. Um, I come to you from the very, very windy and overcast and rainy sunshine coast, the not so sunshine coast today um in queensland australia and i am a certified business trainer which i've done for the last 15 years um, i'm also a certified mental wellness coach which is why i'm here today to give you a little bit of information um what else do i do i'm a certified life coach i'm basically a, a, a jill of all trades let's go there um okay so what i wanted to quickly um talk to you guys about I literally picked the worst time to go live. It's like school pickup time. So I get a lot of you will watch this back and that is okay. And I'm going to try and make it very quick for you because we don't have time to sit there and watch people forever on the internet anymore. It just doesn't work like that. So I try and um, jump on for like five, 10 minutes max. Um, and what I kind of wanted to talk to you about today is um, everybody would have heard of happy hormones, right? And I'm here to tell you that they're called neurotransmitters. And I just wanted to explain a little bit about them because until I did my course, I didn't understand them. I was calling them hormones too. And I knew that we needed to have our hormones balanced. And I knew there was something called serotonin and something called something else. I didn't really understand it. So I thought I could give you some quick um, prompts that will kind of make you realize how important they are and why people say balancing hormones is so um, important. Okay, so basically... In short, a neurotransmitter, so serotonin, for example, which you would have heard of, is drop a one in the comments if you've heard of serotonin too. Um, it's a neurotransmitter, right? And basically what that is, it's a chemical substance that's on the end of your nerve fibers, okay? So, you know, we all have nerves, right? One nerve links to another one and they all do different things. So if you, you know, hit something here, you might be like, ah, sciatica, right? Okay. That's, oh, sorry, sciatic is down lower, but you know what I'm saying. So that's your, your nerves. So the neurotransmitters are at the end of them, right? So you might have a little lovely bit of serotonin sitting there at the end of it. And what the point is, is your happy hormones, right? Um, they need to get up here. Because if we want to feel joy, if we want to feel happy, if we want to feel like we want to bounce out of bed, like we're... Um, motivated um that we're energized all of that where does it come from here right this is this is the signaling from it but 90 percent of your serotonin is made in your gut so for an example right um having having serotonin being basically you guys would call it's your mood neurotransmitter so it's the one that's going to make you um like get in a good mood for the day so if you're in a bad mood right your serotonin's a mess down here that's because it's not being able to jump so we have something called a gut-brain axis, which runs from the gut to the brain. And that's why when people say to you the importance of gut health, it's because we really want to work on your gut health down here. So we're telling your brain, we're letting all these amazing neurotransmitters get through to say, I'm on top of the world and I'm feeling great. So I hope that makes sense a little bit into how that bit kind of works. Um, and I'm going to give you a story about me and why I was put on antidepressants. Um, I'll do, do that in a bit. I just wrote down a few little things for you. So we have your four main neurotransmitters, um, serotonin, which I kind of just went through. So that's your feel good neurotransmitter. That's the one that makes you feel really good. Um, and things that if you don't feel good that it, it can affect is like sleep, your appetite, um, energy, things like that. Um, ways that you can increase that naturally. Exercise is a great one. Sunlight, walking in nature, that type of thing generally will increase your serotonin. Um, and like I said, 90% is made in your gut. So if you have 90% of your serotonin in your gut that's made in your gut, this is your feel-good neurotransmitter. And if you're having those blockages there because, you're, because everything's leaking out and your nerve fibres aren't jumping, like I said, why do you think you feel like crap up here? Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is endorphins. Um, and endorphin, your endorphins are basically like your natural painkillers. So they're kind of the ones that um, I call them the natural band-aid, right? So it's a natural band-aid. They're the things that, um, the, thing, the ways that you can increase your endorphins are things, things that make you smile, things that make you happy, okay? So it's going to be different from everybody else. Um, it could be 
Um, for me, I love exercising. That really, really makes me happy. It could be laughter. Maybe you want to go put a funny movie on if you feel like crap. Um, maybe it's watching your kids play in the park. So that's basically going to increase your endorphin level. The next one is oxytocin. And I always say not to be um, confused with oxycontin because that's the bad painkiller one. Okay, this is oxytocin. Um, it's, the, it's your love neurotransmitter. So this is the one that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And that's the one that you can increase it if you get a hug from somebody. If you have some um, physical touch from somebody, okay? So the warm and fuzzies, that's that one, right? And then the lucky last one is your dopamine. Your dopamine is kind of, um, for me, I dopamine and serotonin are probably my most important. Um, dopamine is like the one that you get a reward at the end, like satisfaction. It's the one that makes you feel good because you accomplished something, good because you achieved something. It just makes you feel uh, motivated, okay? So that's all of those type of things. It could be anything for you guys as to kind of what increases your dopamine. For me, um, it's obviously exercise is a big one for me, but it could just be like, maybe you wanna go for a 10 minute walk. Maybe you wanna go for a swim and swim a kilometer, whatever it is for you, that's kind of your dopamine. So that's the four of them. And that's why it's so important that you guys sort out your gut health. Um, and the, the products that I use are the only ones on the market that actually, hey babe, um, the, the products that I use and my whole family use, um, they're the only ones in the world that are actually clinically proven. And, and yes, there are statistics and all of that that actually um, help to decrease all of those sadness, anxiety, bad mood, that type of thing. Um, so it's so very, it's so very, that just looks like you, that little um, emoji. It's so very important that you find something that does all of that. And I get it. There are so many different gut health products out there, but you want to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. So yes, there are some that heal your gut, but are they also helping with the neurotransmitters that are going to tell your brain, guess what? It's time, Lauren, to go off your antidepressant medication. You guys, I was on it for seven years. Um, and because of these um, products that I'm talking about, I am now not, I did go to a doctor and I'm not telling you guys just to not do that. Um, but I am, as of mid-January, I am off all of my um, anti-anxiety, antidepressants. I'm also off um, my anti-inflammatory, so panadine fort and things for all of my injuries as well as my RBS tablets. So I am so happy to say that I'm living the natural life, which is amazing. Um, and I, I, I do credit it to obviously amazing products because I couldn't have done, I couldn't have healed my gut with just food. Um, I'm not the person that can go and eat a lot of fermented food. It's a lot of like cabbage, um, sauerkraut, that type of thing. Um, yogurt is really good for helping heal a gut. I'm not that person. So for me, um, a supplement um, has been my way of life and hundreds of thousands of others. So if you guys want information on what I use, comment the word gut. Um, and I'll send it to you or also just um, you can message me as well and I will happily um, send you that information. Um, so I hope that was a little bit of information for you guys and I'm sorry it was only one live this week. I will aim for two next week but like usual if you have any questions you know where I am. See you guys.